Alrighty, we've got the new Casper Snow mattress. Uh, let's open her up and we're gonna take a look. Now, I know I always say get someone to help you, but I'm a professional, as you can see. So this appears to be a pretty thick hybrid bed. This is supposed to be their cooling mattress, you know, given the uh, name Snow. Okay, tip it. So whenever we unbox beds, we've always found it's really easy to just tip the box over and kind of spill out all the materials onto the carpet because trying to actually pull the bed out of the box from the top just doesn't really work especially because I looked it up and this bed weighs about 110 pounds approximately in the queen size. Okay. And there's always two layers of plastic. First layer off. So there's pretty much always a outer layer of plastic that really unfurls easily. As you can see, I'm just pulling on it and kind of unraveling the mattress before you get to the inner layer of plastic. So I usually like to start by finding the seam on this first layer of plastic, just start pulling on it, and the bed kind of stays in the same place. If you have someone there to help you, it's nice to have them there to kind of stabilize the mattress while you're doing this. Okay, one layer of plastic down. Now, this is obviously the hardest part. This is where having someone to help you out makes a lot of sense because trying to get an entire queen size mattress onto the base is, as you can see, a bit challenging. I was able to do it eventually, but having someone there to help you would make it a lot easier. The only reason I don't have someone helping me is because I need someone to run the camera. Yes, this is why I usually suggest two people. Okay. So now there's the second layer of plastic, which you have to carefully cut. You don't want to cut into the mattress. So one thing I like to do is really pull up on the plastic and make one incision. Now, mattresses will usually have a nice cutting tool in the box that can help you with this process, but I have found that scissors are just a lot more easy and safe. I've found that the little plastic things that they include to help cut the mattress can actually break and expose the blade, which is not really all that safe. So I just prefer to use a handy pair of scissors. See, this is what I mean when I say it can look a little weird right out of the box. Like it looks like the foams don't really fit the cover that well. It'll be fine in a couple hours, I'm sure. So this is what is commonly referred to as the off-gassing process. I've talked about it a lot in these videos. It's just because the bed has been compressed in that plastic for so long, it just needs plenty of time to fully inflate. And so if the bed looks weird right out of the box, it's perfectly normal. It's something that pretty much every mattress you unbox will experience. So just leave the mattress out on your base or on the floor or even in a separate room if the potential odors might get to you. But after a day or two, you should be perfectly fine. Unfortunate amount of plastic with these, but it's just how it is. So as you can see, the whole unboxing process took me about four minutes to complete, even by myself. So it's something I would not be intimidated by. If you have someone to help you, it should make the process go a lot more smoothly. A lot of mattress brands will have the option to spend up a little bit, like $100, to get in-home setup, which maybe if you struggle to lift things and you just don't wanna deal with it, might be a good option. But as you can see, the process is pretty quick and simple. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. If you found it helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, and we'll be doing a lot more short form video content like this in the future, so be sure to keep an eye out for it.